When two identically charged objects are placed half a meter apart, there's an attractive force of 1.4 times 10 to the negative 14th newtons between them. What's the charge of each object? Now, they haven't come out and told you, uh, but they've given you a couple of hints. This two identically charged, this means that the, the charge numbers are the same. But then they go on and they tell you this attractive, this uh, adjective attractive, and that means that Q1 is a positive, but is positive, but Q2 has to be a negative, or vice versa, it really doesn't matter. But if we take a look, even if Q1 were positive and Q2 were negative, when I multiply those two things together, I still get a Q squared. And for this, the purposes of this, I'm just going to use, utilize Q squared so I can solve for Q, and then in the end I'll call one positive and one negative. So I have Coulomb's constant, 8.99 times 10 to the 9. I have a force is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 14 newtons. Oh, wait, and here is my distance, half a meter. So I have distance equals 0 0.55 meters. I'm looking for Q1, which equals Q2 negative. So therefore, I'm going to square it. OK, and now I'm going to replace numbers for letters. 1.4 times 10 to the negative 14 equals 8.99 uh, times 10 to the 9. Now I don't know what the charges are, so I'm just going to leave it as q squared divided by, my distance is 0 0.5, but I need to square it. At this point, there's really no, I can't simplify anything. Well, I can simplify the denominator, so I'm going to write it, write my problem again. Over, and when you square 0.5, you get 0 0.25. Now I want that 0 0.25 out of the denominator, so I'm going to multiply the right by 0 0.25. But whatever I do to the right, I have to do to the left. Now to simplify the left, 3.5e negative 15 equals 8.99e9 times q squared. I want to get q squared by itself, so I'm going to divide by 8.99e9. These two cancel. Whatever you do to the right, you have to do to the left. And you get q squared equals 3.89321468 times 10 to the negative 25. You're not done. This square uh, is kind of a problem, but you can take the square root to the left and the square root to the right and find that Q1 equals 6.239563032 times 10 to the negative 13. And so Q1 equals 6.24 times 10 to the negative 13 coulombs, but that means that Q2 equals negative 6.24 times 10 to the negative 13. Now you can use the E notation if you want as well.